Hey world, welcome back. Jessica Kirsch here. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you really quickly before I head out to Starbase, the progress of my renovations in the trailer. So we know that I ripped all of, or ripped out, not ripped out, all of it. There was only a piece of furniture here that came with the trailer. Ripped that out, made it my studio. Kitchen is the same. Fridge is now working. Turns out it was just the fuse that was blown, I guess. Maybe. Um, I'm considering ripping out this whole area. I don't use it. I don't sit down at a table to eat. I don't ever, the only person, human, not human, animal, she's almost human, that uses it is Stella because I put her food up there, but I could just build her something for her to eat from rather than have this huge, you know, this, this tiny little walkway and I'm constantly bonking this stuff. I'm 5'10", so this, these six or seven foot ceilings are, you know, it feels tiny in here. So I feel if I got rid of this, then maybe it would make me feel like there was a bit more space because there is. Anyways, I need to cut this pole, this closet pole. Uh, both sides are now installed. Um, I was considering putting this on that side so that it would just be an open wall on this side and I could put like a toolbox or something, um, not a dresser or anything like that, or just start putting this stuff in here for now. Uh, the challenge here is this is my propane water heater. So, it's okay though, because I thought maybe I would just build out a bench here. Uh, this is a piece of plywood that I got from the hardware store. And I just set it up here for now. So I need to get a saw. Um, I use Ryobi One tools, the Ryobi One. With the battery, they're all cordless. Um, I actually just was either 30, spending $30 plus tax on a hand manual hulking thingy. I'm not going to say the word. Um, or I could get the Ryobi one, one, a Ryobi one tool that is a caulking thingy and it's powered for, I think that was $49 plus tax. Uh, that will last me forever. Pretty much. I've had my Ryobi tools for six years so far and they were used when I bought them. Maybe not forever, but Duh. So anyways, um, I'm considering getting maybe a circular saw. I would love to get a miter saw, Ryobi One miter saw. The seven inch, I don't know, will be big enough for things that I want to cut, but it's also battery powered. So there's a seven inch and there's a 10 inch and they're both on sale at Home Depot. One of those I want to get, I would store it in here somewhere. I cut so much stuff all the time um, that it's just worth it to me rather than having to like ask somebody else to borrow their tools, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, uh, this is the progress. This, it says to cut it with the hacksaw. I don't know what a hacksaw is. Um, Home Depot, I couldn't find anybody to, who would cut it or had the ability to cut it or even the machinery to cut it at the Brownsville Home Depot. So the North one, maybe I should go to the South one. Um, if anybody knows anybody with the tool to cut this steel pipe so that I can end it at 54 inches, which is right here, as opposed to 72 inches. Um, I figured that at least I might not hit my head on it. So that's good. Cause you know me, I'll hit everything. Uh, but I can't wait to get all this clean laundry. This is all clean laundry, not all of it. Some of it's like my hiking gear, climbing gear, my uh, mountain bike helmet stuff like that. Um, but stuff that's just been sitting in storage. I can't wait to hang up my guitar. I'm just really excited. So anyways, I'm going to, oh yeah, I still have to close this off too. This is a outside, um, door to access for storage, but this is so much space. This is like another bedroom. And just to remind everybody, this is a 2021 Keystone hideout. B262. Two, six, two. Two, six. I'm going to use myself as the sixth. 62BH, six, which stands for bunkhouse, but it's no longer a bunkhouse. It's now a Jess house. It's a Kirsch house. Ah! It should be KH, Kirsch house. Ah, mouthful. I didn't go live because I didn't want everybody to, you know, come on stream and then me just end and then go to Starbase. So I am going to hopefully be going live out there love you all. Thanks for listening. I'm going to upload this and then I'm going to go out there.
but we yeah, also to take care of these wires. These were from the electrical from the bottom bunk. Uh, my friend Charlie helped me with that, but I didn't get proper screw, like the ends of elect for electrical wires. So I need to take care of that, but right now it's electrical taped safely. So yeah, what do you think? Put it in the comments below if you think I should take out take out this section. I don't ever sit down because I always have stuff piled onto it. So I feel like if I could take it out and then maybe just, I don't even need anything here to be honest. Like, yeah, a chair would be nice, but like I do my, my lounging in my bed. I do my working out here and I do my pacing back and forth right here. <laughs> so I could build a Stella somewhere to to eat her food, drink her water, like right here, because this is the step. Sorry, not the step, this is the wheel well. So, anywho, whoo, hot. All right, Jessica Kirsch here. Today is November, I don't know what the date is, 6th, 2021. I'm coming to you from Brownsville, Texas, near Starbase, Starbase, SpaceX Starship Development Build Out. And I'm in my RV travel trailer, finishing up some renovations, trying to make this place feel like home. Uh, fun fact, I turned the heat on last night. It was chilly. It was legit chilly. Ooh, there's a fly. Yeah, so if you guys have any comments, uh, thoughts, if you think that I've done a pretty good job, let me know. Um, do you think that the closet was a good idea versus just having those bunks there? The bunks would make sense if I had kids or friends or somebody that was going to come and use them for sleeping. But they were just storing all of my stuff. So, like, these are electronics. These are my tools. These are more tools. I have a lot of tools. I like tools. I like to fix things. Those are my office supplies. Those are my 2019, 2021, 2020 and 2021 tax files. Down there are just electronic boxes, electronics boxes. These are all my toiletries plus any extras. Like if I go to Costco, they don't have one here. They've got a Sam's Club. I still haven't been. But anything like um, like shaving cream or uh, razor blades or what else is in there? extra shampoo conditioner. Uh, I use like sensitive skin, fragile baby stuff. All the extra stuff is in there. Um, extra inhalers. I've got asthma, allergy induced asthma, extra allergy medicine. Um, pretty much everything extra that you would think except for toothbrush bristle thingies. I need to get some replacement ones. The Oral-B. Anyways, this would be kind of nice to be able to sit right here. Maybe I'll just take this one out and put an ottoman here. And then um, I just want somewhere to be able to put my keys. Not my keys, but, you know, my fanny pack. When I walk in, just like set everything in a bowl and then be able to find it later rather than have this on me all the time. Because I'm not joking, it's starting to cause lower back issues <laughs> more than I already have. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of stuff that I threw at you. There's some water I'm gonna drink. I love you all. Uh, November 6, 2021, temperature is currently beautiful. Uh, probably 78, 80 something degrees and sunny. And it's still pretty soggy out there. So lots of mud, but I'm excited. I'm gonna head out to Starbase for the first time, I think in over a week. And I will be streaming some coverage to you live. I know that stuff has changed. They've built a fence around the launch pad. So we're going to have to get really creative as to how we can um, capture stuff. Um, I think I need to look into a long zoom, like a super telephoto zoom lens so I can uh, go from far away. And also I'm going to look into renting a truck um, hourly, not through Turo though, because I don't want it to be someone's personal truck. Because if something happens out there, I would never, you know, Anyways, all right. Okay, I'll see you guys, gals, non-binary, out at Starbase here in just a few hours. Maybe sooner, maybe later. Love you all. Mwah. Subscribe. Bye.